Hey, what is going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix your laptop utilizing your CPU over the GPU which is already present there to get better frames. Make sure to watch this video till the end, don't forget to leave a part. Also, do leave your specs down in the comments below and with all that said, let's get started. One is always making sure that your windows is up to date if not already you need to look up in your settings and then go all the way down to windows updates you will see a little pop-up over here which means that your windows is up to date if this is not the case you can always check for updates and keep your windows up to date if there are any bugs which are causing this issue it may be fixed with a windows update and windows is constantly working out to make their platform better so always keep the latest update installed on your pc before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to hitpaw video converter a simple yet amazing tool for all your content needs Hitpaw's new AI-powered video converter allows you to convert your videos from one format to another effortlessly. From videos to audios to images, it offers a wide range of formats to convert the files. It has a very clean interface where you can simply drag your clips and export it in another format or an upscaled video. Here, I am converting my 1080p video to 4K. Simply drag and drop the files, set the basic settings and one-click export to my favorite folder. It also uses hardware acceleration to enhance the quality and performance of the videos. It also has a go to edit panel where you can perform basic and quick cut or merge, crop, rotate, play with the speed, adjust the volume, or add watermarks as per as your needs. They have this amazing toolbox where you can find more tools like AI background remover, vocal or noise remover, DVD burner, media compressor, image converter, and so much more. It is a complete solution for your media on all platforms. You can download Hitpaw Video Converter for both Windows or Mac from the link in the description below for absolutely free or you can get a subscription if it fits your daily needs. Go check out Hitpaw Video Converter and let's move back to the video. Step number 2 is get the latest GPU drivers. Now you need to make sure which graphic card you're using. For most of you guys, you will find the sticker on your laptop if it is an AMD GPU or an Nvidia GPU or an Intel GPU. Well, in all three of these cases, you need to find out which GPU you're using. And if you can't find that, well, what you need to do is search for device manager on your computer and then roll down over to the display adapters. You might find your Nvidia or the Intel HD graphics or the AMD graphics over here. You need to identify which one of them is the external graphics. Now once you have that information, go head over to the link in the description below and you will be going to the support pages of AMD, Nvidia as well as the Intel HD. Well, you have to make sure that you always have the latest GPU drivers available. This is a really important step and if you do not have the latest drivers, this might be a possible reason why your laptop is not utilizing the graphic card and is preferring the CPU graphics or the stock graphics. Well, I am using the NVIDIA graphics card. It could be different for you, so you need to look down for your product. You need to look for the notebooks because notebooks means laptop. For download type, always keep it game ready driver. Do not switch it to studio drivers until you are an editor. Then simply click on search. This will give you the information of the latest drivers available in the market. You can simply download this one. As you guys can see, the latest version is the 536.67. You can simply download it from here. You can do the same for the AMD as well as the Intel HD. Now once you have all of the drivers intact, step number 3 is enabling the game mode. The game mode is really essential feature, you can find it under the settings section. Simply search for game mode over here and once you are in the game mode, you need to enable it. Game mode helps you to disable the apps running in the background allowing you a headroom for your memory to perform much better. This will give you much better FPS whenever you are in the games. Step number 4 is also in the gaming section you have to select the Xbox game bar and if this thing is turned on on your computer you always need to make sure that this is turned off. This consumes a lot of memory in the background and you do not want it on if you want this extra FPS. Step number 5 is right under the graphics section and over here you will find the default graphics. What you need to do is click on this default graphics settings and make sure that your hardware accelerated 
GPU scheduling as well as optimization for windowed games is turned on. This will help you to reduce latency as well as improve performance and FPS whenever you are playing the games. Now go back to graphics and you will find a list of all of the applications and games which uses your graphic card potentially on your laptop. Now you need to identify the games which you are playing the most or all of the games which are already listed over here. Now click on it, go to options and you will find in these three options. First one is let windows decide and when you are on laptop this will automatically go on the power saving mode which will be utilizing your stock graphics. You need to make sure to set it to high performance and click on save. This will help you to utilize your GPU no matter what. Now there is one drawback of this setting is it may lead to more heating of your GPU but that is understandable because it's utilizing your graphic card constantly. If you don't find any game or app which you are using already added to this list you can always click on browse and then go to the installation location of your games. Step number six is graphic control panel settings and to be honest these settings matter the most when you are playing on a laptop and for all of you guys I have already covered all of the control panels in my channel and I'll be linking all of them in my description below because if I add that into my video right now the video will go over 30 minutes long. So if you are an AMD, Intel or the Nvidia graphic card user, no worries, I have left a link to the latest videos of all three of them combined in the description below. You can check out the amazing control panel settings to get the best FPS out on your laptop and that will definitely help you guys a lot. So I'm not gonna cover that part in this video but definitely go check it out. Step number seven is creating a restore point and this is as important as it sounds. Creating a restore point is really simple. Simply search for create a restore point on your system and then this system properties will pop right in front of you. You need to select local disk C, click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on OK, click on create and name it GPU just so you remember it and press enter. Now we always recommend you guys to create a restore point just because if your PC ends up in an error, you always have a point to store back everything without any data loss. Once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Last and final step is the laptop GPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below so you guys can go and check this thing out. It is super helpful and super beneficial especially to fight those low FPS on low end computers. You can simply open this thing up and you will find three simple folders. First one is GPU optimization. In here I have left low end and med high end optimization. Now you need to comment your your graphic card name down in the comments and I'll be telling you guys which one to pick out of them. You can simply double click to run this and if you don't like the performance you can go to the default registries and then re-enable the stock optimization and the stock game optimization and that will help you to go back to your original settings. Now go to the folder number two which is the registries for laptop and this one is the most important one. Over here you will find the boost system responsiveness, disable GPU energy driver. Now what this disable GPU energy driver does is it basically helps your laptop not to disable the GPU drivers if it consumes a lot of power. Let's say your computer is running low on battery, your laptop will automatically disable the GPU driver and put all the load back to your CPU and that will lead you to the FPS fluctuations and we don't want that we can just simply connect our power and play the game and we do not really need this thing so you can simply disable it to prevent the fluctuations. Then the last one is the increased power efficiency and this will result in a little bit heating of your laptop but it will help you to get those extra FPS. If you don't want your laptop to overheat you can simply skip this one but if you are okay and if you have a super low end laptop and you're expecting much better performance and if you're okay with running your laptop all the time on the charger you can simply enable this one and that will give you a phenomenal FPS boost. Last one is the MSI Utility V3 and this is one of the most important part. You simply need to right click and run this as administrator. Now once this application opens up you are looking for your graphic card. Now if you have an external graphic card installed on your PC you will find it separately over here. You don't have to click anything other than the undefined. Set this thing to high, click on apply and then close it. 
Now this one will help you to improve the priority that your graphic card takes and ultimately help you to improve your FPS and performance right away. So guys, that was all the best settings that you could apply to improve your FPS and utilize your graphic card correctly on your laptop for gaming or performance. I hope this video might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below since it really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to check out my other guides on AMD, Intel and Nvidia graphic card packs channels they will surely help you guys a lot we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out